Let's have a quick conversation about Credit Union Business Credit Card for new ALC, how to get a high limit and low APR. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about credit union business credit cards for new ALC. How do you get a high limit and a low APR? The first thing you need to do is to know credit union credit cards that are friendlier to new ALCs. This is very important. We have actually covered this topic on two shows. So if you're interested, you might want to go back and read those and actually watch those shows afterwards. So the first one is uh, 10 rare EIN only business credit cards from credit union with low APRs and high limits. The second one is five rare credit union EIN only business credit cards for startups. So when we talk about credit union credit cards that are friendlier to new ALCs, we are talking about the Navy Federal Credit Union Go Biz Rewards Card. Again, this list is not exhaustive, but I just want to give you a few examples. So that the Navy Fed Go Biz is really good. Here you have credit line that goes all the way to twenty five thousand or seventy five thousand if you have a, a great NPR with uh, Navy Fed. And the APR is 6 to 18%, minimum time in business, three months, minimum revenue per year, $50,000. You also have, for example, the GTE Financial Business MasterCard and the credit line here up to $50,000, APR 5 to 15%, minimum time in business, three months, minimum revenue per year, $24,000. And then you have the American Heritage Credit Union Business Platinum MasterCard. The credit line here goes from $300 to $40,000. The APR 2.59% to 12.59%, minimum time in business 3 months, minimum revenue per year $50,000. And then you have the, the, the NASA Federal Business Visa Platinum Advantage Rewards Credit Card. Here the credit line goes all the way to $50,000, APR 9.4 to 18%, minimum time in business 6 months, minimum revenue per year 24 k And one thing I want to see here is that all these credit cards come from credit unions that are national. In other words, you don't have to have any geographic affiliation, professional affiliation, family bonds to qualify, okay? You can qualify for any of those uh, business credit cards anywhere you live, from anywhere you live in the country. It's also important to understand that you need to familiarize yourself with the best credit unions because not all credit unions cater to new LCs. Okay, so again, if you have time, I, I want you to go back and watch those shows that I just told you about the 10 rare EIN only business credit cards from credit unions with low APRs and high limits. That's the first one. And the second one, five rare credit union EIN only business credit cards for startups. <music> Step number two, if your goal is to get a high limit business credit card for a new LLC, you need to think about legality. Legality is very important, folks. So first of all, you need to establish your business as an LLC. This is important. Do not remain a super partnership or don't try to have an S Corp or C Corp. You want to remain an LLC, a limited liability company. In other words, you need to register with, uh, with the state where your business will, uh, will operate. You need to have articles of organization. This is a big decision time. Talk to me here. Do you have articles of organization? Have you written them? And uh, do you have partners in your LLC? Because everybody, every partner has to agree when, when, when we talk about the articles of, our, of uh, organization. What about bylaws? Do you have bylaws? Bylaws are very important also because bylaws will govern how the LLC will actually run from within. It's important. You want to hire staff if needed accountant you can have an accountant and admin uh, admin assistant all these things are really important and if you hire staff please register your employees with the state what i'm trying to tell you here is I, I want you to run your business the legit way i want you to comply with all laws and regulations that affect business owners this is really important you want to get your ein your employer identification number if you have an LLC, 
it's important to take that step and to get an EIN is very easy. You want to go to the uh, IRS website. It takes about five, 10 minutes and they will issue an EIN. So an EIN is just a simple, it's, it's sort of similar to a social security number. It's a nine digit number that allows the IRS, for example, among other things, to know that you exist, but also to make sure that you pay your fair share of taxes. Okay. And once you have an EIN and you have set up your business, you have registered with, with your state department, you want to open a business checking account. This can be at a credit union, which is even better. Okay. And this could be at a credit union where you want to get the credit card in the first place. So once you chose the credit, the credit union that you want, it's better to open a business checking account at that credit union. And you also want to think about DBA, doing business as. In some states, you might have to take care of that also, especially if you have a holding company that has uh, several brains, you want to specify that. So the bottom line here is that the more legal, the more compliant you are, the better your chances of uh, getting a business credit card with a high limits and low APR from a credit union because they will see your business as legit, they will see you as professional, and this is really important. And please do not forget, the EIN is very important and also you need to set up the business as an LLC. The third thing you need to do is to write a compelling business plan. This is so quintessential. I'm not asking you to write it if you don't have a knack for writing business literature. Okay, you can outsource the whole thing. We have covered this on uh, many shows, but a business plan is, quint is quintessential. Why? Because a business plan tells a credit union, a card issuer that you have thought about your business model. You have thought about where you want to see your business one year from now, five years from now, three months from now. This is a business plan. It's all about business planning. Okay, so this is important, not only for the credit card issuer, but also for yourself. So when we talk about a business plan, please don't be stingy here. Don't go and just get me like a $5, a $5 or $20 business plan. No. If you're serious about your, your LC and you're serious about getting a high limit credit union credit card from uh, if you if you're serious about getting a high limit business credit union um, <laughs> credit union business credit card, you want to write a compelling business plan. And you can hire someone locally. You can hire someone on websites such as Freelancer, Fiverr, or Upwork. Or you can buy software to do it yourself. But the bottom line is you want to have a compelling business plan. In the business plan, you want to talk about your vision. Remember, if you are a new LLC, you need to communicate your vision, your mission to the credit card issuer and to the lender for that matter. Okay? You want to talk about your business model. This is important. What is your business model? In other words, how do you, in how do you intend to make money? How can you monetize your initiatives, your actions, your operations? Talk to me about that or talk to the lender about that or talk to the credit card issuer about that. Okay. And you also want to mention your financial statements. So in the business plan, you need to incorporate your financial statements. Obviously, if you are a new LLC, you are having projected data, right? So projected balance sheet data, projected cash flow statement data, projected uh, income statement data and projected owner's equity statement data. So everything is projected, but you need to back it up with uh, realistic assumptions. Don't just go out there and just tell me that, you know, you intend to 10X or 15X your revenue uh, after one year. No, that's baloney. Be realistic here, all right? This is why you need to work with, uh, with someone who knows how to write a business plan and somebody who has uh, some expertise in the field of accounting or financial reporting, okay? So this is important. And, but the bottom line is money, 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 money. Please explain at length and, and uh, very clearly how your ALC plan to make money. This is really important. This is what we call the monetization loop. You need to really uh, explain that so the credit card issuer or the lender for that matter will know that you are serious and that you intend to make money. <music> Number four, the fourth step is you need to actually pinpoint the credit union that you are interested in. So when we talk about business credit cards for no LC coming from a credit union, you have several options. First of all, are you looking for a national credit union or a regional credit union? In other words, are you looking for a credit union that has a national footprint or you're comfortable with a credit union that is available in your state? It really depends on where your business is located it depends on your ambitions for the business. It depends on uh, the, the APR, the fees, the 
the credit card limits. I mean, it depends on a constellation of, uh, of, of criteria. And my question to you is, where do you currently bank? Are you banking right now with another with a credit union? If that's the case, why don't you start with them? Why don't you apply for a business credit card for a new LLC with them? If they have one, if they have a, if they offer such a credit card. OK, and the question, another question is, in which states is your LLC registered? So if your LLC is registered, for example, in Texas, it might make sense to look for a credit union that covers taxes among other states. OK, and another thing you need to think about, which sector are you in? Because the macro in your sector will play an important role in terms of uh, the credit card uh, issuer that you go to. In other words, where are your competitors getting their credit cards from? So those are things you need to think about. So when we talk about choosing a credit union for your business accounts, for your credit cards, for your loans, you need to think about a few things. First of all, can you join? In other words, as you as you probably understand that credit unions are membership based organization. So you'll have to be eligible to bank with one one. Right. So some credit unions have fairly relaxed requirements, but others do have strict requirements. And how will you bank? Would you do a branch banking? Would you do online banking? W what is your need in terms of uh, banking? D are you into technology? Do you want an app? Do you want do you want to have a, a user friendly dashboard? Are you comfortable just having bank banking as it, as it was done a few years ago or a few decades ago? You also need to think about the features of the credit cards, but also of the loan. Okay, we are still talking here about how to choose a credit union for your banking needs. Okay, and what other products are available? Obviously, you are interested in a credit card for in a business credit card for a new LLC, but what about loans? What about uh, banking accounts, uh, checking accounts rather? What about savings accounts? Okay, and uh, does the credit union offer additional business services? So those are things you want to think about. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about credit union, business credit card for a new ALC, how to get a high limit with a, a low APR. I want to talk to you about an NPR now. So when we speak about NPR, we are speaking about multi-product relationship. And it is important that the credit union that you are going to choose, ultimately, this is the credit union with, with uh, which you want to establish an NPR. And by the way, folks, NPR is a term that we use internally that we have used internally in our research and, uh, and for our clients for the last 15 to 20 years. If you Google this term, you will not find it. OK, this is something that we, we use internally. And what we have seen is that some people have been using this on, on YouTube and other platforms saying that when you when you talk about NPR, you have to include all accounts. No, NPR only takes care of uh, deposit accounts. If you have loan accounts with the credit union, it will not qualify because a loan account is synonymous with exposure for the credit union. It's not it's not something that the, it, it, in other words, they might lose if you default. But if you have a, an NPR with deposit accounts, those are asset accounts for you. Where, whereas a credit card or a loan is a liability account for you. So establish an NPR with a credit union. In other words, you want to think about opening a business checking account and or a business savings account. Those are really good. So those are the two basic accounts you can open if you have a new LLC and you want to boost your chances of being approved. And again, you only open the M you only open or you only try to establish a strong NPR with a credit union with which you want to open a credit card account. In other words, where you want to apply for a business credit card, that's where you have to focus all your energy and all your money. You can you can also open investment accounts for your business. OK, uh, some credit unions offer uh, they offer investment accounts for businesses or brokerage accounts. You can also open IRAs, individual retirement accounts. You can open CDs, so business CDs, certificates of deposit. If you have extra cash and you want to put in and you want to put some extra cash in a business city, that's totally possible. 
you can also consider money market accounts those are important also so everything i've been telling you so far those are called deposit accounts those are not liability accounts okay and this is what constitute the fulcrum of an npr a multi product relationship but only deposit products but if the credit union also offers uh, services for example payroll services or merchant services you want to sign up for them if of course those are in line with what your business needs and you can also also consider having insurance through the credit union for example what i'm trying to say is you want to have multiple data points multiple contact points that you have with the credit union so that when you ask them for a business credit card with the high limits and low apr they'll take care of you <music> Next, you really need to understand the requirements of the business credit cards for a new LLC that you're trying to get. What I'm trying to say is, how can you apply for a product for which you have no idea? For which, for, uh, you, how are you applying for a product whose requirements you have no idea about? You gotta have a clear idea of the the LLC credit cards that you're trying to get from a credit union, right? So this is where you need to talk to them. You need to call them up. You need to have a conversation with them. You need to go on their website to learn more about their requirements. So when we talk about business credit card requirements from credit unions, basically they want they want to have uh, your business's legal name, contact information for your business, your industry type. This is important. Your sector is really important because your sector is going to drive what we call the macro analysis here. In other words, it just is your sector profitable. Is your sector not profitable? The credit union might ask for your business entity or legal structure. Obviously, you want to be an LLC because this show is uh, exclusively focused on being uh, on uh, business credit cards for new LLCs. They might ask you for the t your time in business and the number of, number of employees. Make sure everything is legit. So, if you are a startup, j just choose the lowest option available in your application's time in business in the in the business field. So, they might ask like less than three months, less than six months. Just choose whatever applies to you. Think about your federal tax ID, your EIN, this is important. They might ask you for your annual business revenue and estimated monthly spend. If you're a new LC, you don't have actual number, uh, actual numbers, okay? You will have projected data, projected numbers. So do your best to have realistic numbers. Again, don't talk about 10X revenue or 15X revenue or 20X revenue in one one year or two years or five years who knows but be realistic you want to mention also your total annual income or your expected total annual annual income okay you also want to talk a bit about your brain this is important to the uh, the credit union now you might be thinking here this is a show about business credit why are we talking about the brain well a brain actually epitomizes what your company stands for and your goals if you may if you are able to articulate in your business plan how you're going to use your brain to make more money this could be an asset also as a matter of fact for some companies a brain can be an asset and those are called intangible assets okay the credit union might ask for your legal name your contact information your social security number they might ask for your personal credit history they might ask for some personal guarantees especially if you're asking for a higher credit card limits Let's talk about the application, folks. I'm still explaining to you how to get an, a high limits and a low APR from a credit union if you have a new ALC. So let's talk about the application. Now, the application is a pretty straightforward here. You want to apply at a branch or over the phone. I know people sometimes want to apply online and you are free. Feel free to do that. But I warn you, if you apply online, you are giving your, uh, you are allowing an algorithm to decide whether or not you should be approved for a business credit card. And if you are approved, you might get a lower limit. So it's just a lot better to actually apply at a branch or over the phone, okay? And you need to decide which credit card, which business credit card is right for you. This is important. You wanna think about, do they have a 0% intro APR? Do they have an annual fee? Because those are things you need to think about. Do they have a rewards program, for example? Okay, big decision time, big decision time. Are you in a business where you are going to be on the road all the time or you're gonna have employees on the road traveling overseas? 
because if you have a credit card that has a foreign transaction fee, this could be a, a detriment to your business, to your operations. So think about that. You also want to ask the credit union when you talk to the rep, the credit card rep, you want to talk to them about the intro introductory bonus. Okay. You also need to understand the, the dichotomy, the distinction between business credit card and charge card. Okay. This is important. Some credit unions have what they call charge cards. In other words, every month you have to pay whatever balance you have. You're not allowed to carry over any balance. So this is what a charge card is, but a business credit card, you are allowed to carry over balances as long as you are paying the minimum payment, you're paying the minimum payment. You are making the, the minimum payment. And one thing I want to say here is that before you apply, whether you apply at a branch or over the phone, please check your credit score. This is really important. When we, when we talk about business credit cards for new LLC, you can apply with EIN only or without EIN. If you choose the latter, you want to check your credit score. Okay. You want to gather the necessary business credit card requirements. You want to fill out the application and uh, that's it. So when you do all those things, you just want to wait for approval. You got to be patient. Okay. Sometimes it takes uh, two days, three days, but overall it shouldn't take that long. It shouldn't take uh, more than a week to hear back if you are approved. And so this is really what it is. And obviously people will tell you, you can apply online so you can, uh, you can find out if you are approved instantly, but take your time, prepare the, the application process and you should be uh, very satisfied. Okay. <music> Thank you so much for, for your attention, folks. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about credit union business credit card for a new ALC, how to get a high limit and low APR. Number one, you need to familiarize yourself with the credit union's business credit cards for a new ALCs. Number two, you need to take care of the legality aspect of things. Number three, you want to have a solid business plan. Number four, you want to have an idea of how to select the credit union. Number five, you want to establish a multi-product relationship with a credit union that you want to, uh, where you want to apply. Number six, you want to know the requirements of uh, the card. And number seven, you want to apply. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.